I can take a beating. I've heard that. Yeah. <laughs> and it is finally open. It is not the great movie ride anymore. It's Mickey and Minnie's Runner Way Railway. Try saying that five times fast. It's a shame you can't walk through the handprints of the stars. I think that Miller's over there in the corner. Which, even if you wanted to come look at this, you can't. Right, it's very sad. Who can you see over there? I can't see anybody. I see Minnie Mouse. See the shade over here. <laughs> shade of it all. All TL shade. Grandma. And my mic's not even on. It's not. Thank you. This is an exciting journey through a variety of cartoon environments aboard a train car that travels forward, backward, and something else. I don't know. <laughs> oh, Sid Charisse. You're so gay. Oh, uh, Suzanne Summers. Oh, look, it's Estelle Getty. Ma. Picture it, Orlando, 2021. All right, Ma. It's almost time. Beast. It's like getting a picture with myself. I want it. Are you so excited? I am medium excited. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad it's nice and hot in here. I don't think it's hot. Well, you're not sunburned. That's also true. <laughs> Excuse me. That's dirty. Three-legged race. I could do that right now. <laughs> Welcome to the Chinese theater. Hey, Mickey, where's your sh I don't like that. As Mickey and Minnie drove off to the park to enjoy their perfect picnic, Engineer Goofy pulled up in his train, and let's just say he really had a blast. Now, instead of watching the cartoon, you get to step into it. I've always wanted to be animated. Now's your chance. Oh God, I almost fell. <laughs> I'd be, I'd be tripping. The light bulb. Guten Tag. Right. Zero reaction. <laughs> <laughs> well, Projection mapping. Oh yeah. Yeah. Go out here, everybody. It's me, your boy, the love engineer, Goofy. Welcome to Runamuck Railroad. For your safety while riding aboard the train, always stay seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside your train car. Watch 
Cheers. <laughs> God. No, I don't like that. <laughs> That's good enough. Okay. Don't push it any further down. I'm already having a fit about it. Don't have a fit. I don't like it. I don't like being constrained like that. Well, better than flying out of it. No, I'd rather fly out of the damn oh, thing. Okay. I could take a beating. I've heard that. Yeah. <laughs> Much cooler in person than on video.
cute. I wish it was a little bit more air conditioned. I'm dying. Yeah, not a little more. Projection mapping is really good in here though. These are definitely the days that I miss fast pass. Yeah. Because waiting for every ride that you want to go to is kind of not that fun. No, it's not. It's not very magical. Hopefully the spinning saucer's weight is not too bad. Look at this fucking park. Oh my god. We're going to need a lot of bleeps in this video. <laughs> And the funky thing, you can order, pick up food everywhere, except Woody's lunchbox has like a three hour wait to pick up food. That's insane. It's like, are there giant tater tots and I don't even know what else they have, the giant cookie worth it? Doubt it. Oh. Alright, we are going on it. Unless they're doing this uh, hidden line stuff, I feel like there's like no line. Yeah, I agree. Alright, we're about to go on this craziness. I like it because it's probably going to be nice and cooling. Probably. <laughs> and that one went down, so we're gonna go this way. Okay. I don't care. Ready to spin. Okay. <laughs> it's a very long message. Yeah. There we go! Great right, toys. Oh crap. Ha <laughs> ha
we've had the green and blue milk, and they're pretty good. But I took one for the team and got the alcoholic blue Thank milk. You for Okay, so I got the blue milk with Bacardi rum in it, and we're gonna try it. It's pretty good, you can't really taste the alcohol. Um, I think it's good. I bet the green would probably be really good with alcohol, but it's tequila and I did not want tequila. So, cheers to blue milk with Bacardi. Transcript. Oh. Donald is. Did you do that? I don't know. <laughs> Preserving our past may just ensure a future. Yes? Yes. yes? yes. Yes. Now, my friends, by this point, I'm assuming you've all heard the stories and the legends that surround Luke Skywalker. We hear there is another. A new Jedi. Who knows her name? Ray. Ray, yes. And what Ray is leading is the spark of hope we have all been waiting for. And that, my friends, is why you're here tonight. To look ahead to the future. To build this a lightsaber. Now the lightsaber has been wielded by some of our greatest heroes. And darkest enemies. It is elegant, enigmatic. To build a lightsaber is an art. Now the saber is a reflection of the builder, with the force flowing between. And tonight, you will feel that connection. But enough babbling, let's get on with it. <laughs> we start with perhaps the most important aspect of the lightsaber, the Kyber crystal, able to focus the energy of the force, to magnify. Now some say that the Kyber crystal is the heart of the lightsaber. The color of the crystal reveals the color of the blade. Now this, you may already know from some of the great Jedi in our history. A blue crystal, such as the one wielded by the great master Obi-Wan Kenobi, and his apprentice Anakin Skywalker, and of course, Rey. Green, the crystal that called to Qui-Gon Jinn, Ahsoka Tano, Master Yoda himself, and Luke Skywalker. Violet crystal, 
rare and beautiful, like the blade wielded by Mace Winter. Red. There are some who call this the color of power and ambition. The crystal of Dark Maul, Massage Ventress, Dark Vader, and now Kylo Ren. No, these are the stories of the past. And we are here for you. Our future. You will now choose your Kyber Crystal. My friends, close your eyes. What color do you see in your mind? Choose your crystal and know that it is equally likely that your crystal is choosing you. Now open your eyes and take your crystal. Well done! Well done indeed! You will now join that crystal to the aspects of lightsaber design that you chose moments ago on the other side of the workshop door. One important thing, make sure the crystal is resting on the tiny green tray at the top left of your building. Good! Very good! Now, you will start work on your hilt. This is the foundation of your lightsaber. Your center of control and the thing that keeps your hands from disintegrating. <laughs> In these boxes of the aspects of design you've already selected, you'll find the chassis, activation plates, grip, emitter, and pommel cap. Now remember, building a lightsaber is a very personal journey. Just as you've selected your crystal, you will now choose each individual aspect of future design that make your saber unique. If you have difficulties or if you have questions, the gatherers are here to help, and all you need to do is simply ask. Now. Let's build.
Tyson's fault. Thank Take you. the travel. Who needs a case? I'm gonna go kill some bitches. Oh god. <laughs> That's cool. And we're on our way out of Batu after building a lightsaber. Insert photo shoot here. Camera noise. <laughs> Camera noise. Camera noise. And now it's back to Los Angeles in Orlando. <laughs> That was open to close at Disney Hollywood Studios. That was a 10 hour day. It was a long day, but so worth it, especially all the Star Wars. All the Star Wars in the world. And I have my precious right here and here. And on that note, we'll see you next time. Stay fab.